Okay, we're in downtown Phoenix at the Georgian Dragon English Pub, a very famous location in Phoenix for soccer fans or football fans as us Brits would call it. And we're joined today before the, liver, uh, before the Manchester United Nottingham Forest game. We're joined by the owner, David. How are we doing, guys? Good to no. see you. Oh, good to see you. <laughs> yeah. He's from Ramsgate in the UK originally, and he's been in the US for 40 odd years. And this bar has been open for 27 years of that. Yep. And we keep hearing good things about this location especially from the Phoenix Red Devils, because it's, it's predominantly a Manchester United favoured pub, but everybody's welcome. And in fact, Chelsea have a big uh, following that come here also. So, David, uh, what do you make of soccer in the US in 2022? Well, when they start calling it football, I get excited. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, but you've seen the growth. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, the, the American. I mean, most of our supporters are Americans. That you know, they they pick a player, and they said that's it. That's our team. You know, a lot of them pick Ronaldo, and a lot yeah. of United fans aren't rooting for Ronaldo anymore. So no, no, he's history. Not, not at the moment. <laughs> yeah, and I've met him, and he was a nice person. But the way he's treated United now, I'm done with him. And you've got quite a high expat population in Phoenix overall, yeah. Yeah, there's over I between sixteen and eighty thousand Brits mm. here. In the valley, not in Phoenix, but in the valley, mm -hmm. surrounding towns. Yeah, and they make their way here from. Um, it depends. Mm. If it's a five or six o'clock game, no, yeah, no, it's yeah. not. But yeah. normally in the afternoon games on the week, on a Saturday and Sunday, yeah, we get a really good crowd. And as you can see by the by the background here, and we'll show you more of it later, they got pretty much everything here you would need, including good food, I understand as well. So, no reason not to come down. And if you support any other team in the Premier League, you're most welcome here for sure. Um, Plus, we show all the Champions League games and UEFA games, obviously World Cup games, yeah. and all the England games, no matter what time they are, we show them all. Yeah, OK. And, of course, the World Cup is coming to the US in 2026, I suppose. It must be. <laughs> yep. Uh, Unfortunately, we don't have one here in Phoenix. Oh, in uh, in yeah. Uh, yeah, Glendale because uh, they didn't want to spend the money. Yeah. So they said, no, they didn't want to do but it. But what's so. the chances of an MLS making its way here at some point? You, don't have, an, you have a, a soccer team, don't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, but it, it's not M MLS. No. It's like two grades down. Any talk of one? or They've been talking about it. They would, if we get a new stadium, um, then maybe we'll get it. I hope so. Maybe someone like David Beckham can move to Phoenix and we can get a team. Yeah. Well, the whole point of Barfly Sports TV, of course, is to show fans the actual locations, the venues, and uh, what they can when they're open, etc., which we will add in the comments below, the opening hours. Um, but this pub uh, was constantly coming up in the comments that we should come here to view it. And David is a bit of a legend because he, um, <laughs> for many reasons probably, but one of which uh, is he actually advertised on mainstream television when he first started so right. and lots of people know about this place because of that obviously yep. um, and there on his mug if there were any doubt about <laughs> what he is that's it he's the effing boss <laughs> that was a Christmas gift for one of my waitresses <laughs> all right all right so um, today forest I mean on paper it should be <laughs> easy I'm going three nothing Oh, wow, OK, all right. And everybody, as far as you know, everybody fit, pretty much? Um, I haven't heard any, anyone that's, anyone's injured, so hopefully uh, we'll, we'll be OK. Yeah. And have I, you... I, I'm not sure if Anthony's back from... Yeah, from... no, he is, I think. He He's is, definitely yeah. back. Yeah. Good. He's an exciting um, And any... Well, I was... Any signings made yet? Nothing. No. Well, we can't. It, it doesn't start to the first. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. OK. And, of course, for those who don't... Uh, for our American viewers, um, of course, Manchester United is officially up for sale, or...? <laughs> yes, thank yeah. God. Yeah. Well, finally, the Glazers will be leaving, it's, it sounds like, so things should get back to normal eventually. I guess we're going to have Arab money again, just like everyone else yeah, in, the, in the Premiership. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Newcastle are becoming a bit of a threat now. <laughs> They're third, I think. Yeah, I mean, 
with the money they've got and the amount of players they're buying, of course, I, I, I said the minute they got bought, within three years, they'd probably win the Premiership. Because Man you have been on a bit of a down, downward spiral for well, quite a few years now, you know, through... Unfortunately. Um, yeah, um, through the managers and whatever. Um, so it was definitely rotten. It appeared to be rotten at the top. Because uh, you've had good, you know, David Moyes turned out to be not so bad elsewhere. And they, did, they didn't give him a chance. Yeah. yeah. It was, he was around, what, for, you know, 12 games or yeah, something stupid? Yeah. And mm. then they, yeah, didn't give him a chance. And Mourinho was probably not a good fit from the very start. Yeah, the worst thing they ever did was <laughs> yeah, get him. Yeah. So, OK, well, hopefully um, the second part of the season. And, and by the way, this uh, Georgian Dragon was very busy during the World Cup. No surprise, of course, with England, Mexico... Um, uh, US games. US games, yeah, yeah. All right, well, it's, it's a pleasure meeting you, David. Pleasure's all mine, and all right. uh, let's hope there's a 3 nothing result today. All right, thank you. All right, cheers.